Get those likes up, ladies and gentlemen. Get those likes up, ladies and gentlemen.
Reverse ticking. Last chance to hit those likes, let's get the party started. What's going on everyone? What's going on? We got a little pump after the FOMC. What can we expect next, man? Hope everyone had a fantastic day. What a crazy day today, man. You see some altcoins going nuts. Uh, Bitcoin going nuts. ETH going nuts. Is it going to last? Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. All right, let's jump on in. Let's jump on in. Come on, man. Let's get it. guys what's going on uh bitcoin ethereum going nuts 1622 on ethereum okay uh we also got uh bitcoin 22,874 are we gonna see higher prices or is this uh the end is this the end of this pump are we gonna dump from here or are we gonna pump to the moon that's what we're gonna talk about today what's going on everyone uh, George knows best, Tay. Hey. George has the winning strategy, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe not in the short term, but uh, <laughs> but George has <laughs> but George has the winning strategy. He does. He does. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> let, 
Let's let's jump on into the chart. So let's not waste any time here because um, we got a lot to talk about today. We, we, we had a whole bunch of uh, shiznap <laughs> coming in today. All right. So let's jump on. Let's jump on into it. All right. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's jump on into the charts here. So what do we got going on? Bitcoin made its way back up to 22,880 today. What a freaking pump, man. What a freaking pump. Um, that was that was freaking nice. But where do we where do we look like we ended up? We ended up right on, okay? <laughs> we ended up right on the 50 EMA, the 50 day EMA. So we know this is the level that we gotta break, okay? I'm looking for the fist to break tonight. I wanna see Bitcoin smash it to the upside tonight. And if we see Bitcoin smash it to the upside tonight, which would uh, constitute us having a massive, 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 massive green pickle to the upside. Shout out to all my homies in the chat. Let's get it, all right? Strap up. We're going to the moon. I want to see Bitcoin break the 50 EMA tonight um, for us to get super, super bullish because I want to put on that moon helmet and I want to get bullish. I want to get deep, deep, dirty and bullish. I need to dust the, the dust off this thing, but uh, we got to break this 50 day EMA, man. I mean, I mean, I've said this consistently. Um, I'm pumped. I'm hyped for this pump. We're going to play the pump music, especially for Ethereum here, but we got to. I want to state this up front. I'm not going to get uber freaking bullish and be partying like the USA until we break this 50-day EMA. But if we can, you might be seeing uh, bullish Jordan uh, coming back, man. Not only the 50-day EMA, but I also want to break this big downturn of resistance. You can see that Bitcoin's sitting right at it right now. 22,900. We are look like we're getting a little bit of a move to the upside here. We want to break this big downtrend of resistance, which we got resistance on once, twice, three times, four times, five times. And now is six time. Can we break that today? If we can, you know what time it is, my friends. Okay, turn up the volume here. It's ridiculous. There we go. There we go. We got the volume up. But before we party, we got to break it first. But I, I wanted to do a little party because especially Ethereum. Ethereum is coming up hot and heavy here. 1626, awesome bounce for ETH. I mean, that's actually a pretty phenomenal bounce for ETH coming up today. Um, looking to break its highs, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about ETH in a second, but I just wanted to show Ethereum. What a nice move, man, for ETH, man. I mean, you had the perfect rise, right? You came back down, took this yellow vector candle here. All right, perfect bounce off the 50 EMA and looking to move to the upside. So that's not too shabby, man. That's not too shabby. Now, here's where we get to watch for BTC, guys. Like we said, Bitcoin's still below that 50 EMA. We got to get it close above 23,136, okay? Whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, whenever it is, we got to get a close above 23,136. If we do not close back above that, we are screwed, okay? And I'll show you guys why, all right? <laughs> but... For all my bulls in the chat, including me, let's get it. Let's hype and let's play the horn, okay? <laughs> okay, let's hype and let's play the horn. Let's get it, man. <laughs> Vikings in the chat. If you want Bitcoin to break the mere 50-day EMA, you need to get hype in the chat and spam all the swords and all... <laughs> Matt Bonner said invisible penis. Uh, you need to spam all the swords and all the seals in the chat. If you want Bitcoin to go down, you are a pussy. Okay? So I need all the bulls in the chat to gather together. Come together. Crypto is one of the most toxic places in the world. But if we want to win this battle, we need to break this resistance and take the land back from the bears. We have been beaten down by this bear market. We have been sacrificed to the gods by this bear market. And we cannot take any more pain. So let's break this tonight, once and for all, and become bullish. With no more ray hikes for two months. Let's go, bulls. Spam all the swords and shields in the chat. Let's go. No! 
Why are all you guys bullish again? You need to be bearish. Bitcoin's still bearish. Don't fall for it. I lost a lot of money today. I keep shorting. You guys know I keep shorting. I I'm kind of rich now, but I lost so much money today. <laughs> Shit. Why do I keep shorting now? <laughs> Screw this. I'm going to make it all back. You salty bulls. I'm going to make it all back right now. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Java's pissed off. Let's go. We want to see Java keep getting pissed off, man. We, we really, really do. I want to see Java keep being pissed off. Let's not let Java come back and uh, have any, any, any type of redemption, okay? Uh, but no, seriously, we got to break back above this. Until we break back above this, um, it is what it is. Now, let's talk about some short-term time frames. Uh, Salim, what's going on, man? What's going on? What do you, what's, what, what is that? A Breva? What is that, man? What is that? What are you talking about? What are you guys talking about in the chat? Stuff on my lips? What are you guys talking about? There's nothing on my lips. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's chocolate on my lips. Oh, Lord. I had no idea. Holy moly, man. <laughs> There's chocolate on my damn lips. I might as well keep it on there for, for, for right now. I mean, screw it, man. I did eat some chocolate ice cream before the stream. Uh, I guess I guess we gotta keep it on there. It's 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 for uh, it's nostalgic at this point. Look at it, man. Holy moly, man! Look at the look at the chocolate on the lips. <laughs> yeah, I got I got chocolate on the lips today. What's going on, boss? Got <laughs> chocolate? Yeah. Is it really chocolate? What else would it be? <laughs> You know what it'd be if it was Bob or a Jabba. Hey, Melissa, come here. Come here. No, bend down. Bend down. Bend down. I know how you like it, baby. Come here. <laughs> no, but anyways, anyways, we're going to keep it on there. Let's close back up there. Let's, go, let's jump to the short-term time frames, man. What's Bitcoin doing on the short-term time frame? So um, here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Um, we saw a pretty massive move up to the upside here. Now, I, I, I just want to make this clear up front, okay? Here, here's, here's what we need to see in the short term, okay? Because we did see a little bit of a, a massive move to the upside, which has created some vector candles looking to the downside, all right? We got all, one down all the way back here to 22,100, okay? And we got one all the way back down here to 21,600, okay? So we do have some vector candles looking lower, but if we look to the upside first, all right, we got this wick, this juicy, juicy, juicy wick here on the 15 minute time frame. All right, um, we also just got the cross on the 15 minute stocks. All right, looks like we're getting a move to the upside. What we don't want to see, right? and, we, and we, what we always know by now, if you guys watch uh, really anyone, I mean, we don't want to see this M formation where we come back up, take this wick up here. Okay, we have the wick, we come back up, we create an M formation and come right back down to the downside. That's what we don't want to see. So what I'm watching here in the short-term time frames to keep it super, super simple on the short-term time frame is, can we, if we come back up here, if we continue to rise, are we going to just create that M formation or are we going to have enough juice to get back above that $23,100 level? That's what I'm looking at in the short term to keep it super, super freaking simple. Can we get back above the previous high? If we do, we will spam the pump music and we will have a goddamn party in this freaking chat. That's what we're going to do today if we can break that uh, previous high. All right. By the way, guys, make sure you smack up that like button for your boy having uh, chocolate, quote unquote, chocolate on his lips. You don't know what it really is, but I, I'm, I'm going to say it's chocolate here. Okay. Shout out to you. Um, let's see. You don't why wipes? I know, I'm keeping it on there for nostalgia. Drew said, I bet we get a Bart. I'm going to get that into just a second, Drew. You know, you know my take, man. I'm not sold just yet. Let's go back in time, all right? Let's go back in time. And I just want everyone to remember this. I'm not going to say it's going to play out the same way, but I want everyone to remember this, okay? Let's go back in time a little bit, and let's look at the daily chart. You guys remember this little consolidation up here where Bitcoin did have the rise, Big rise above the previous highs. It pulled back, but look where it came back down to. Let's let's go look. Let's go look. 
So we've been comparing this this price action to this price action for quite a while, and it's playing out the same way, which which is quite uh, phenomenal if you ask me. Okay, quite phenomenal if you ask me. So we broke the previous high, slight deviation to the upside. We pulled back to the 0.382 Fibonacci level, and then we got another rise back up. We made a lower high right to the 786 retracement level. You guys can see it right there, 786, and then that ultimately resulted in a move back down to the downside. Okay, this is on the 12 hour time frame. Take it for what you will. Let's go back and look at our current price action and look what we've done so far. All right, we had a rise up, a deviation above the highs. We had the retrace to the 382 Fib. We rose back up. Look where we found some resistance on this current candle. Listen, don't shoot the messenger. I'm only going to show you what I see on the charts. Okay, and we got that rise up to the 786 Fibonacci level. Okay. If it was to repeat the same thing, you would see a, a, a drop after this. Now, how likely is that? We'll find out, right? We, we know we we kind of got past it today. Today, everyone was expecting the 75 basis point rate hike, and that's what we got. Okay, that's why you're seeing a, a nice reaction off today. The question is, are we going to do the, what we did last time, which is kind of curl back down to the downside now that we have this? Okay. If we take a look at some of the shorter term time frames, let's take a look at the four hour time frame real quick, right? The four hour time frame. Look at this massive yellow vector candle to the upside here, okay? Now, the four hour looks pretty good. I, I will say for the short term, the four hour doesn't look bad. We did break out of this downtrend of resistance, so we're getting a move up here. So we finally broke this resistance on the four hour time frame. That's not too shabby, okay? But I want to I want to remind you guys, we usually do come back down and take these and let's look at the one hour time frame. You got this all the way back down to 21,600, okay? Don't shoot the messenger, just showing you what I see on the charts, all right? To me, it all comes back down to what we do today. If Bitcoin can get a close above the 50 day EMA and this big freaking downtrend of resistance, I think we're gonna look pretty good here in the short term. And I could see a little bit of a higher prices. You might be, like I said, you might be seeing the moon helmet coming back on here. But if we can't, and we get rejected from this level here, the 50-day EMA, which has been a pain in our ass, a pain in our freaking ass. Yeah, it's been a f huge pain in our ass. Can we get back up on that stupid orange line? You call it an EMA, all I see is an orange line. That's it, okay? Like, can we break the stupid line? Why is a line holding down Bitcoin? It's ridiculous, a moving average? It's a freaking line at the end of the day. Only idiots use that. We're going to break it. Don't worry, guys. Shiva's going to the freaking moon. Okay? FTW. Okay? We're going to the moon. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, we, we need to break this. We need to break this, okay? Uh, let me see in the chats here. Um, let's see. See what you guys are saying in here, by the way. Uh, Salim came in with the super chat. He says, uh, here's some money for <laughs> Uh, it's, 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 that's wrong. That's wrong, my friend. Uh, Real PC benchmark for, for for today pump. Shout out to Real PC. Shout out to you, my friend. Shout out to you. All right. So that's what we're gonna watch out for Bitcoin here in the short term. Now, here's here's some interesting stuff, guys. Here's some interesting fluff. Look at total market cap right now. Total market cap is going nuts. Look at where total market cap is approaching right now. It is sitting right on top of that big downtrend of resistance. Look at where we're sitting right now. Look it. Look at it, man. It's just a stupid line. It, it, at the end of the day, it is just a stupid line. Look where total market cap is sitting. Total market cap on the four hour has, has broken this downtrend of resistance. Now, we got to watch this very, very closely. Let's look at the daily on total. Just like BTC, look where total market cap is, is testing. All right? This big downtrend of resistance that we're waiting to break out, that's where total market cap is right now. If we see any more price action tonight to the upside, we're going to break that. We need to see it on a daily close. So if it happens after the close and we pump, it doesn't count. We need to see it on a daily close. I'm waiting for that to move up. Same thing. This breaks up. I think we could see a pretty, pretty nice move to the upside. What's going on, Psycho Pearl? TA on Phantom? Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. All right? And I'll tell you guys this right now. We got, we're going to look pretty bullish if this breaks to the upside. Hold on one second. George, everyone needs your hopium. It's not even hopium right now. We are bullish. Come on, George. Come on. Do I, wait, do I have chocolate on my face? It's like that video I did a couple weeks ago where I had chocolate on my face. Let me know in the chat if you saw that video. Anyways, 
I am George. We're all George. Guys, Bitcoin is looking so bullish right now. Let's go look at the charts real quick. If we take a look at Bitcoin on the charts, look at Bitcoin. It is going absolutely nuts right now. About an 8% move to the upside. And look, at we're so strong right now. Let's zoom out a little bit and see where Bitcoin is. It is looking so strong right now. Um, I know it's still in a bear flag. I know it's still below the 50-day EMA. I know it's still below uh, resistance. I know it still hasn't even made a higher high. But it is, it is looking so bullish. And this looks like we're going to the absolute moon. So you guys need to, 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 to uh, make sure you know to continue to DCA, continue to hodl. I actually bought some crypto on this pump today. Bitcoin is going to go up. I'm telling you right now. Bitcoin is going to go up. All the metrics are bullish. So many companies have, bought, have announced Bitcoins on their earnings. Bitcoin is going to go up. All right, now let's do some Q&A. Let's do some Q&A real quick. Okay. Um, we are as bullish as a beaver. Get out of my chat. You're, you're, you're getting banned in the chat. You're getting banned. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways, shout out to my guy, George, man. I, I always say he's got to... Uh, happy for him to stay positive all the time i give him some credit um anyways anyways all right so bitcoin bitcoin came back up it took a little bit of this wick let's see what happens next guys let's see what happens next in the short term all right just keep in mind i want to keep everyone in mind we've done this before <laughs> don't get carried away yet okay don't get carried away yet and you know just keep your eye on the prize now I, I want to I want to go look at some altcoins, not because I love looking at altcoins. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna jump back into BTC here in, in a second. Just remember, um, you know, we want to see a break of the previous high. Okay, we don't want to see an M formation here. We don't want to see a Bart Simpson because we know that Bart Simpson could come out any time, right? If Bart Simpson wants to come out right now and come back down and take these vector candles all the way back down here to 20, 22,000, all the way back here to twenty one thousand six hundred, it can. It can. So don't think Bart Simpson can't just come out the woodwork and say, screw you, bulls. This is a fake, another fake pump. Homer Simpson's my father, okay? Homer Simpson's my damn father. Do not forget, Bart Simpson, with his squiggly, squiggly hair, can come and wreck you. Okay? So don't, don't, don't be afraid. Anyways, let's get out of that. Let's get out of that real quick. Let's go over here. Let's check some alts because it's not so much that I want to look at altcoin charts. It's because alts could give us some clues of what what is Bitcoin looking like, right? And you might you might sound that might sound backwards, and it might sound it doesn't make any sense, all right? But if we look, okay, we talked about Ethereum. Ethereum's at its previous highs, so you know we kind of talked about ETH going up to seventeen hundred. That's like to me that it's it's going to be tough for ETH to break seventeen hundred. The reason why is you have so much previous support at that level, it's going to be big resistance at that level. Okay, you had three supports back last summer. That was like the summer support line over here for Ethereum. All right, if you look at the same thing, that was our support on this dump, right, on, from May before we eventually came back down. 1700 is going to be a tough cookie for Ethereum to crack. All right, so let's see if that breaks. Now, I want to look at, I want to go through a few altcoin charts because of this. All right, let's go look. So let's go look at where we're looking at with some of these uh, four hour charts on, on altcoins and why I think we're at a very key level. Right. Let's start with AVAX. All right. Actually, these aren't the charts I want to look at. Let's start with uh, AVAX. All right. Look where AVAX is. Okay. In the grand scheme of things, if you look at uh, this downtrend of resistance, okay, AVAX is right at its resistance. So key level for AVAX to break. Let's continue down. Um, BNB. You know, interesting enough, BNB didn't have that same sort of downtrend. BNB has a horizontal resistance. Coming in right around here. BNB is also right at that resistance level, right? Uh, Doge. Doge is the one that actually looks like it broke out to the upside. So Doge looks pretty good. Right? A couple of these actually look like they broke out. Doge already broke out. So Doge isn't looking too shabby. Um, it's coming up on the 200 EMA. So just be careful there. Um, Dot looks like it could be breaking out. Same thing though. Coming back to test that 200 EMA. So just be careful right there as well. The dot looks like it's also breaking the high. Uh, sorry, it's downtrend on the four-hour time frame. Uh, Matic looks like it's sitting right at resistance, right? So Matic's very, very close to breaking out. Just be careful here. Wait for confirmation. 
but it's sitting right there, man. Right? It's sitting right there. Uh, <laughs> Anderson, <laughs> it's hard to take me seriously with the chocolate on my face. Hey, take the chocolate for what it is. It was a uh, guys, 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 guys. Quick rant alert, real quick. Quick rant alert before we continue on the charts. Rant alert. All right. Quick rant alert. Here's the thing. All right. If you guys want to have the most bullish, healthy ice cream you've ever had, um, shit. What was it called? What was it called? If you guys want to have the most bullish, healthy ice cream you've ever had in your life, okay. No, not this one. The one I had today. This one too, though. This one's pretty good. It's called Halo Top. If you guys like cookie dough ice cream and you want to eat this whole pint, it's the size of a Ben & Jerry's pint. If you want to eat this whole pint and not feel guilty, this whole thing is 330 calories and it tastes like freaking butter, man. This is not the one I ate today. <laughs> I had a chocolate one today. Okay, that's what you see in my face. Uh, what is it? It's it, uh, Shit. I'll have to tell you guys what the other one is, but it's, it's super bullish on the chocolate, man. You can eat that whole pint and not feel guilty. Um, <laughs> Halo Top made with bugs. <laughs> oh, come on. No, oh, don't say garbage. Don't say garbage, man. You guys are ridiculous. Don't be, don't be saying garbage in the chat. Let me bend down a little bit here. Bullish on the ice cream? You should be bullish on the ice cream. Let me actually put this down like this a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. You should be bullish on a little bit on the ice cream though. Nicks. What is it? Nix. You need to try Nix uh, triple chocolate, okay? Nix triple chocolate. Go to the store, get it. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed, okay? It is great. It is great. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, Cub J? Uh, Clint, what's going on, man? <laughs> Clint, get out of here, man. <laughs> I told you it's going to be a volatile day. I told you I was not going to trade today. And I told you I was not going to make any moves on my portfolio today. Okay? So you did that out of your own due diligence. All right? I told you straight up. No moves for me today. All right? <laughs> Get out of here, Clint. Well, it ran up 1000 bucks You're ridiculous, man. All right. Anyways, let's continue on. Let's continue on. You're saving that little bit for later? Yeah, it's going to be a good little bite, man. This is, this is going to be really, really good. Anyways, Matic is sitting right at resistance. Um, Shib. Shib already broke out. So congratulations to the Shibbers. Shib's already getting a move to the upside. I'm just doing a quick run through, man. Solana. Looks like Solana broke four-hour resistance. That's trying to get a move to the upside. I just want to caution you guys here uh, on this move. I just want to caution you um, that... You know, it's not guaranteed that we come back down and take these vectors. You're going to see it on every single coin. Uh, SHIB, right? Solana, uh, Uniswap. You're going to see these big four-hour vector candles all the way back down at the lows um, coming up here, okay? So keep this in mind. It's not. It doesn't have to come back down right now, but based off of, you know, a vector candle strategy, you would expect it to come back down to take these at some point, okay? So... <laughs> Keep that in mind. Keep that in the back of your head as we try to move up here. Uh, what's BTC doing? BTC, BTC is still sitting at 22,870. Uh, what's ETH doing? Let me go back to Ethereum. Captain ETH. Uh, Ethereum. 1628. All right. Let's see if Ethereum can come back up and break the highs here, man. Let's see. Let's see. I saw someone say that it's, this is giving you summer of 2021 flashbacks. Hey, man. Look at the date. It's July 27th. What was the date that Bitcoin started to pump last July? Let me look back in the past. Now, this doesn't have to mean anything. This is totally just uh, me, me balking here. Um, so the, the date that Bitcoin started to pump last summer was July 19th of 2021. The date that Bitcoin, the, the, the weekly candle looks like Bitcoin really started its momentum. Is it coincidence? July 18, 2022. Now, it's just a sort of coincidence type thing. I mean, take it for what it is. I don't think it means anything, but <laughs> that is sort of interesting. That, that, that It's pretty much the same week, same week um, you know, since last year. I think that is kind of interesting. It was July 28th, same exact time. It is interesting. It's a little bit of a coincidence, in my opinion. 
Wow, Jordan! Does that mean I should go all in? Should I go all in based off your advice? Is this channel financial advice? You, you said we pumped the same time last year and we, we, should, we should expect to pump again? I'm going all in. This is it. I'm going all in at this pump right now. The FOMC is closed. We are bullish. Yes, we are bullish. I'm going all in. Three months later. Yes, 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 yes. Horse guy has, horse guy has FOMO'd again. Yes, you know what to do. I, I, I feel bad taking this guy's money now, but it's just so funny. It's just so funny to take this guy's money. You know? Okay. Yes, you know what to do. Dump it to, dump it to like 10k. Yes, you dump it to 10k. You know what to do. Dump it now. Just, 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 just wreck him. He, he's so funny to wreck. <laughs> I, I, I like taking, I like him seeing his wreck them taking his money. <laughs> yeah, dump it. <laughs> to be continued. To be continued. We'll, we'll, we'll see if it happens. Uh, but, but TBD. TBD. Uh, what else we got? Look at the Nasdaq, man. Nasdaq up about four percent today. One of the bigger day, bigger days we've seen in a while. Now, you know the Nasdaq's up four percent today. Um, I, I will say this though, like we we got a lot of work to do, right? If you look at, I mean, it was a four percent pump, but it, it kind of reminds me of the meme. You know, four percent pump. And we're all the way back down here still. So we got a lot of work to do. But what I like about it is, um, you know, we are starting to make our way back up to the upside now. Just keep in mind, right? We'll see what happens tomorrow. I know we got some earnings after hours today that could impact, impact any some, something tomorrow. I don't know. Um, you, you've been seeing, uh, you know, earnings being off all week. And that really hasn't affected the price too much. But um, you're right at the previous high. Now, what I'll say about this is, is today is Wednesday, Okay. Are you going to see Thursday? You're going to see some type of midweek reversal come in where, you know, you're getting this pump now and everything starts to turn back around. That's to be determined. Let's see how tomorrow is. But, um, you know, you, you got some key areas you still need to break for the NASDAQ. I ultimately want to see if the NASDAQ can get back over. Uh, it's really 12, 12 316. Uh, that would be pretty good. And that, that would kind of make this a, you know, a bigger term, you know, first hit to the downside rise. Second hit to the downside rise. A bigger term W formation. We really want to see 12,316 12, break, okay, at the end of the day. If we can do that this, this next couple days, hallelujah, we're probably going to see a little reversal to the upside at the end of the day. But uh, nice day for the NASDAQ. You, you cannot complain about the NASDAQ going up 4%. It's a big reason why Bitcoin got carried up today. Uh, let me see. <laughs> I am horse guy. We're all horse guy. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Let me see what you guys say. All right, let's look at this poll. Do we flip bullish again after flipping bearish after flipping bullish? The, re the meaning of this poll was, it, it, this is sort of the meaning of the, of the poll here, okay? Everyone on the rise up was super, super uh, since we, as soon as we got like right here, everyone was super, super bullish. Bitcoin dumped again. Everyone was super, super bearish. Now we're getting a pump to the upside. Everyone's super, super bullish, okay? At the end of the day. It looks like 54% are bullish. When yesterday we did the same poll and I think it was like 65% of people were bearish. So uh, this is the ebbs and flows of crypto, right? You see the rises, everyone comes out and starts flipping out and you got, you got all, all these guys. Welcome back to MM Crypto. Make sure you guys smack up the like button to a no thought pie. Guys, Bitcoin is absolutely going to the moon today, right? I have put in a massive, massive 100x long position over on Bybit, okay? We are going to the absolute moon. And yes, guys, and yes, I am keeping my long position open for the long run. I will not close this. We are going to the absolute moon. Yesterday on the same channel. Wow, guys, it looks like Bitcoin is coming back down to the downside right now. Smack up those like two new all time high. It looks like Bitcoin is making its way back down to 20K and we could be making lower lows at some point relatively soon. I have put in a massive 100x short position over on Bybit, okay? Use my link down in the description, but I do think I am slightly, slightly bearish at the moment, okay? Uh, so yeah, it doesn't look too good for Bitcoin right now. And uh, yeah, it looks like that, that, that fake pump was a little bit of a fake pump. It looked like we lost support. And it ultimately looks like we are dumping. So uh, take it for what you will. Um, I am not wearing shoes. And I am super, super bearish. Okay, that's it. See you guys in the next one. Uh, as Aaron Crypto. Bye-bye.
<laughs> thank you, Chris. Thank, thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Uh, see you guys are saying in the chat here. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let, let me wipe the damn chocolate, okay? Let me wipe the damn chocolate. I'll prove to you it's chocolate. Ready? Watch this. Oh, shit. It's like stuck on my face. Let me look at... Oh, it's on this side. <laughs> the camera's flipped. Hold on. It's on this side. You guys are like, we don't want to see you licking your face. We want to see Bob licking his face. Ah! It's a little piece of meatloaf left. Here we go. Ah! Ah! I, my freaking tongue! Ah! <laughs> All right, but anyways, anyways, we're, we're getting over that. Let's go back to BDC. So, uh, 22,852, uh, we're still waiting on this, okay? We're still waiting on to see what Bitcoin does in the short term. Right now, like we said, we don't want to see the classic rise, make a wick, come back up, take the wick, M formation, right back down to the downside. We don't want to see that classic Bart Simpson pattern. I told you guys, like, you know, at, at the end of the day, you know I, I know, I know it's fun to get hyped up today, and I want to see us pump. I want to see us pump. I am sick of downwards price action. I'm sick of sideways price action. I'm sick of everything besides pumping, okay? But we got to remain realistic and look at where we're still below, which is the 50-day EMA. Nothing has changed, okay? <laughs> Savvy will we'll preach to you all day about that, okay? Nothing has changed. We're still below our downtrend of resistance. Nothing has changed. If those two levels break, then we can start talking about higher prices. Until then, you got to remain grounded and not be uh, not be not be going crazy, okay? Not be going crazy. Now, if you look at some of these candles here, um, let's look at some of these candles. I, I want to bring up the four-hour candles here real quick. When do you think that most of retail bought this pump, okay? And, and, and here's the thing. <laughs> What's going on, Salim? <laughs> no, it's all good, Salim. Salim, Salim, Salim. I get the joke. You're allowed to troll me on the stream, okay? I am completely allowed to be trolled. You know why? Because I'm a troll. You can troll me back. I don't have thin skin like a lot of other people in the space. If you want to troll me, by, by all means, troll me, okay? You do you. No, but in all seriousness, man, um... When do you think retail bought this? Okay. Well, it, based off, based off what? Based off where? Okay. Respect my back. Be, uh, look, look at where the candles are coming in. Okay. And I, and I can tell you where re, where retail is doing the damage. Okay. Retail sold this candle, and retail bought this candle. Okay. And so, take it for what it is. The market maker might say, "Hey, it's time for us to move back to the upside." But what he normally does is he says, okay, a lot of retail fomoed in right here. A lot of people went leverage long on this candle. Instead of going leverage long at support down here like you're supposed to, a lot of leverage, a lot of people went leverage long. A lot of people went FOMO in on this candle right here. So what the, what the market maker usually does, it doesn't have to be on this candle, but it usually comes back down and takes this at some point, right? To liquidate those long positions that came in late, okay? Before, I mean, then, then, he, then he might move back to the upside, okay? We could come back down and back test this first and then move back to the upside. But I think there's a high chance you come back down and you take this uh, within the next couple four-hour candles, all right? Um, I, this, this, <laughs> this little formation here is starting to do what we don't want it to. It's too early to say, but we don't want to make that M formation at the top here. Um what do you guys say in the chat? Let me see. Let me see you guys say in the chat. Mike. Mike with a $10 super chat. Appreciate my homie Mike, man. Mike Mike is in every single stream. He trolls me a lot, but I love Mike, okay? A lot of you guys troll me a lot. Uh, I, I can go through the list. Mike trolls me a lot. Uh, who else trolls me a lot? Dan trolls me a lot, all right? Uh, Teju trolls me a uh, Actually, yeah, Teju trolls me a little bit a lot, okay? Um, Teju, I got you. I'll take a look at uh, ETC, my man. Let's see. <laughs> let's see he lost viewers when he wiped it let's see what else you guys saying in here uh Jorik, we have the bald filter yeah if you want man we can definitely do the bald filter we can definitely do that in just a second did uncle bill gave you chocolate 
<laughs> Uncle Bill, man. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Jordan, what's going on? It's your, it's your favorite uncle, Uncle Bill. Wait, what do you mean you don't want to get close to me? Come on, I'm a Bitcoin maxi. You gotta love me. I love Bitcoin. Come here, I got I got some chocolate for you. I got some chocolate for you. You want you want some chocolate? You want some chocolate? Hey, Uncle Bill. It's good to see you. Yeah, I'll have I'll have a piece of chocolate. I'll definitely have a piece of chocolate. Come on, Uncle Bill. Come here. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you need a hug. Come on, Uncle Bill. Yeah, you you definitely need a hug, Jordan. You definitely need a hug. Here, have some chocolate too. Come here. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to stop that. Uncle Bill, man. Um, I'm going to stop that there. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Salim said, respect my bat. No, pro no problem, Salim. You, you control me, my friend. Uh, who else trolls me? Let me know in the chat. Who watches my stream every single day and who's here every single day? Let me know in the chat. Okay. I know Dan is. Okay. I know B Water does. Who else do I see? Creighton's in here all the time. Who else? John is here every single day. MC. Trevor is in here all the time. Clint's in here all the time. Wayne is in here all the time. Everyone's in here all the time. Everyone is. All right? <laughs> Everyone is. Uh, what else do you guys say in the chat? Uh, Franco said American Muscle. Rice Rocks. Luxury or SUVs? Um, that's a good question, man. American Muscle, Rice Rockets, Luxury, or SUVs? I'd probably have to go SUV. For someone that's from New England, um, having all-wheel drive is the way to go. So I'd, I'd probably go with uh, an SUV if I had to pick out any of those. Okay? If I had to choose. Oh, God. Here we go, man. Here we go. What the hell, man? I'm already in a bad mood. Now someone's stealing my Lambo? What the fuck, man? The markets are pumping. And now someone's stealing my Lambo. No. Wait. Why is Savvy standing in my Lambo? Savvy, where are you going? Where are you going? Savvy, come back. Come back. Sayonara, sucker. You thought you were my apprentice? I'm stealing all your shit, you idiot. <laughs> Alright, let's look at some charts here. Rob, what's going on? Uh, always here, probably why I'm no longer married, but I don't blame you. <laughs> hey, man. It is what it is. I appreciate you being here, Rod. I appreciate it. I saw everyone that's in here all the time. Alright, anyways. Let's jump back into the charts. So, um, look at Uni, man. Uni's up 21.6%. Let's get a pump song going on Uni. And let's look left to see where we can go up to next. Let's see, man. Be careful right here. I think this could be a point of resistance for Uni. If we look up um, where we're at currently for Uni, this was the consolidation's low, uh, lows back in March, right? We had one hit to the downside. We had two hits. We had three hits, all right? We came back up, retested this level, be careful right here for uni, okay? Short-term resistance could be in store, but let's get a pump song going for uni. As you guys might say, it might be the short song during the during, during the uh, bear market, but let's freaking get it, man. There it is, man. <laughs> uh, but no, you need good, 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 good uh, pump. But just be careful right here, man. I think this could be a point where um, we, we see some resistance here in the short term. All right. If it breaks this, though, watch for the 200 EMA at uh, at about 904. But not too bad, man. If you look at this, um, I mean, at the end of the day, down here it was a nice like bottom formation, man. You had the left shoulder, you had the head, you had the right shoulder. You broke out, you back tested, and continuation up. You backtest the 50 EMA, continuation up. Not too shabby there. Now, do you have any, not really any type of, I was looking to see if there's some type of wedge formation there, but you're really not seeing it. So 
Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Well, we'll see what happens there. I'm assuming that you probably have some type of bearish dip. Let me bring up the RSI real quick and see what we're looking at there. Uh, yeah, a little bit of bearish divergence on the daily, man. Doesn't mean you can't go up higher. It's not confirmed yet until we see some type of uh, closure, uh, but you do have some lower lows and so, uh, sorry, some lower highs and some higher highs in price action. Okay, so just be careful that classic bearish divergence could be a sign that you know you are going to hit some resistance and see a pullback from this level, right? But I mean, freaking awesome move up, man! Awesome move up on Uni. You gotta love it. Um, let's see, what you guys are saying in here. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Wayne said 99% of the chat wants you to wipe that shit off your mouth. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Um, TA on Phantom. I got you on Phantom, my friend. Let's go look at Phantom. Uh, Phantom, Phantom, Phantom. Jordan, I got this chocolate also after last weekend, man. Nice. Um, let's see. And stop trying to stop trying to cause uh, <laughs> cause a fight, man. This and you always come in the chat. And you're trying to start a fight with me and Lifer, man. Listen, Lifer can do his own thing. He said, Lifer banned me for asking for Solana chart. They were telling me forcefully to super chat. Listen, I don't know, I don't know what he's doing over there. He can do whatever he wants to do, okay? <laughs> stop, trying to, stop trying to cause something, man. You, you, you love coming in here and causing some type of drama, okay? All I know is, all I know is, you won't be seeing me with suits on the stream. Okay, that's all I know. That's all I'll say. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. But you won't be seeing me wearing suits on stream. Okay, I'm just doing TA on the charts. I'm not doing anything crazy. All right, let's, let's get off that. Uh, <laughs> you're crazy, man. All right, let's look at Phantom. Let's look at Phantom here, man. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see what's going on with Phantom. Let me look at the four hour real quick on Phantom. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Um. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, it was what it looks like right now. I mean, it's sort of the same thing on the daily. It's actually, actually kind of different. Interesting. On uh, the four-hour time frame, let me, let, me, let me zoom out a little bit here. Let me, let me go back to the daily. Because a lot, of, a lot of alts did this structure. So if you look at Phantom, okay, and we look at right here, we go across like this, right here, okay, and we do this. Every, a lot of alts, especially Phantom, look at this structure. You had a rise down, rise up, rise down, continuation up, back test, and now you're gonna try to get that continuation. But what we always say is, this is not a confirmed W pattern until you see that volume kick out and you break the previous high, okay? You gotta break this previous high at 37, 37 bucks, right? And then you have your classic W formation, back test, continuation up, right? You, you got to get over 37 bucks. Um, let's go check the daily real quick. Uh, the four hour, actually. Four hour is not doing... It's a little bit different than the other alts. Other alts have a clear, defined resistance level. Uh, Phantom really doesn't. So, I, I would say this. You're getting a move up, all right? You got, on Phantom, you do have this red vector candle here. So you would expect it to come back up and take this red vector, right? That's what you're seeing right now. The question is, is it just going to have enough juice to break 37 bucks? It's likely you come back up here, but are you going to have the juice to get, get up higher, right? That's ultimately going to be the question. And what you don't want to see is the classic left shoulder, head, right shoulder, head and shoulders top, all right, before a continuation down. That's what you don't want to see, okay? The classic head and shoulders pattern. So... See what happens. We'll, we'll come back to this as, as price action progresses, but um, that's what we're seeing right now. All right, Bitcoin, 22,900. What are we seeing from Captain BT Sizzle? Are we going to see a pump? That's what I want to see, man. I'm going to buy the top and I'm going to sell the bottom, guys. <laughs> Shout out to all my guys who today did exactly what we say not to do, which is this. I'm going to buy the top and I'm going to sell the bottom, guys. Shout out to all my friends out there. Let me get some water here. Oh, man. I got I got to get some water guys. It's brutal. Ah. It's absolutely delicious, man. Guys, you guys like this eat this eat picture right here? You like this eat picture? Let me know in the chat. 
I totally painted this. I painted this with my own two hands. I am very artistic, as you guys know. I painted this in one hour, okay? Can you believe it? I painted this in one hour, just kidding. I, I didn't paint this. Maya painted this. Let me know in the chat. This thing's pretty dope, I do have to say. It's the space, man. You gotta love space and you gotta love Ethereum. Those two together, awesome. All right, there we go. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> you guys saying that? He said no. You guys are so mean, man. All right, uh, going back over here. So right now we're just chilling. We're just chilling like a villain. Nice. <laughs> he bought it off Amazon. <laughs> I'm totally artistic, guys. You didn't know? Just kidding. I, 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 I didn't try that. I am one of the most least artistic. I'm more computer artistic. Uh, but when it comes to... When it, when it comes to real art, real art, quote unquote, real art, then I am horrible, okay? Let's see. I thought he did. Let's see. Tell Maya to start selling them. She does. She does. She does. On her no. store. No, no. Oh, not anymore? No. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's for her. Never mind. <laughs> I misspoke. Um, all right. So, total still selling, selling at resistance. Um, yeah, man. Now we're kind of just waiting to see what Bitcoin does. Bitcoin's coming back up to flirt with the 200 SMA again, right? That, that, that uh, ever so daunting 200 SMA. Where we're close, you never know. I mean, last week we got all the way back up to 24.4 and we, we closed at 22,000. So, we got a long week to go. We got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and everything in between, right? So, we'll see what happens there. Um... Right now, we're kind of just chilling and waiting to see what Bitcoin does here in the short term, man. You know? So, okay, is any other altcoins moving up? See what you guys say in the chat. <laughs> what about the month off from the Fed? Uh, the month off from the Fed is, is, is I mean, we, we don't know. We, we can try to guess. We can try to guess. You never freaking know. This pump can be an artificial pump. And then the markets can go back down and everyone's going to say, oh, the trend is down for the next two months. Or it could continue up and everyone's going to say, oh, the, the, the trend is up in the next few months. Do we really know? Not really. Not really. So far, th this, 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 this pump really isn't too much to me just yet. We can get there, but it isn't too much to me just yet. Um, <laughs> every painting can be approved with George's face. Of course. Who wouldn't want George's face as, 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 a, as a painting, man? Imagine, imagine just having a painting of George's face like this and say, we gonna go up or hodl. That, that, that would be the way to go, man. That would, be, that would be the way to go for sure. For sure. Um, let's see. Have to avoid Bart first. Yeah, we got, we got to avoid Bart Simpson for sure. We, we, don't wanna, we don't want anything to do with Bart Simpson here. Which is, which is the typical bear market structure that we always see, to be quite fair. All right. But right now, I mean, Bitcoin did break out of this resistance. So that's not looking too bad, man. I, I got to give it a little credit. It is showing a little bit of life. And we like a little bit of life. You know, we do like a little bit of life. I will say, I will say, you got to love life, man. You got to love life. We got to approve this freaking stream, man. TJ, Frankie, how are we going to approve the morning stream? Get your asses in here. Don't tell me you're busy. Get your asses in here. By the way, in the meantime, I need a spotter. <laughs> quick, quick. Frankie, use your calves. Use your calves. I'm so freaking strong, aren't I, guys? Aren't I? Aren't I freaking strong? Come on, say it. Yeah, BitBoy, you're so... <laughs> yeah, BitBoy, you're so strong, man. You're so strong. Keep it up. Keep it up. I'm going to keep sucking up to you. <laughs> oh, man. You got to love it. You got to love it, man. All right. Let me stretch out the hat a little bit. 
Do I still have chocolate on my face? Quote unquote chocolate. Is it chocolate or is it? <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never know, I guess. We'll never know. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's continue on before we get super carried away. It's 7.53, so we got some time into the daily close. Is Bitcoin going to get a move up on the daily close? Let's go to a short-term time frame. Let's look at like the five minute. Let's get deep and dirty here. All right. Do we got the most meme pattern of all? The most memeish pattern there is in crypto. The cup and handle pattern. Do we have it, man? No, you know, it'd be all, in all seriousness, it is there. We got the uh, cup. We got the handle. Now we want to see the little breakout, okay? Because we got the big cup. We got the little handle. Let's wait for the breakout, though. Let's wait for the breakout, a little, little neckline. The little, little neckline. We want to see a close on the five-minute above 22,955. Just be careful. Epsilon said, ETC, please. Thanks, and have a great day, bud. No, you too, buddy. Thanks for hanging out and watching, man. That's that's awesome, dude. Uh, we'll, we'll check out ETC. I'm sure ETC is going nuts. Usually when ETC goes nuts, the markets... <laughs> usually when uh, the markets go nuts, ETC goes nuts. It's a super volatile coin. Uh, the measure move, technically speaking, okay? Technically speaking, would be up towards um, 23,333, okay? It, a lot of threes there. You got to love the, the power of the threes there. 23333. 3, 3, 3. 23,333. Let's see if we break out, man. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Looks like we are getting some volume in here. So we're seeing some volume picking up. Look at here, man. Let me let me do my best my best Tino here. Hold on one second. All right, guys. We got the New York Open coming in here. All right. Look at the volume coming in this vector candle right now. Holy shit. We are getting some massive volume. Massive, massive volume. Looks like Bitcoin's trying to break the resistance right now. We need to get a five-minute close. We got one minute into the close. 22,955. We're looking for a close back above that. We got the, we got the NASDAQ absolutely popping off to the upside on the close here. Futures are going nuts. We got the DXY looking like it wants to actually break to the downside here. We go back to Bitcoin. That's a good sign for Bitcoin. We need to see Bitcoin get it back above 22,955. And here we go. Here we go, guys. Looks like they're going to try to make a move. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at 22,950. Holy shit. It looks like we are getting that move to the upside right now. Here we go, man. Oh, oh my God. Happy days. Happy days, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love when Tino starts going nuts, man. It's like, it gets me so fired up. I sit there and I'm like, holy shit, what am I watching right now? And in reality, you zoom out and <laughs> and you zoom out and then he could be going nuts for like 15 minutes and it's like this little candle right here. <laughs> it's awesome, man. He, he, he makes it uh, fun to watch that little short-term time frame charts, man. Uh, talk faster? I don't know if I can talk faster than that, man. I, I, I don't got the skill of that. Uh, I don't get the skill of that. Drunk Bear said we're in 27, 2007 again. <sighs> Holy shit, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's see. Need mini market makers look on a face at her dad. Oh, well, do, doing the hee hee. You got to love it. You got to love it, man. My heart starts racing every time. <laughs> it's so true. All right, but yeah, right now, guys, I mean, in all seriousness, let's get back above 22,955. Maybe we got a little cup and handle in the short-term time frames. Uh, Mike needs to reel this shit back in. This is short-lived, but I'll, I'll defer to Mike. <laughs> we'll check out what Mike says in a second clip. For sure, buddy. We definitely will. That was basically earlier. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, but right now, it's, it's hard for me to get hyped over, like, the five-minute time frame. I give him credit for that. Uh, all right, so... Yeah, right now we're waiting, man. We got four minutes into the close. I will say it again for all my guys in the back. You talking about me? What's wrong with being in the back? What's wrong with being in the basement either? Like, there's nothing wrong with being in the back and there's nothing wrong with being in the basement. Shut up, Jordan. For all my guys in the back, you're clearly talking about me. I'm going to come up there and I'm going to shove. I'm going to shove that friggin' that chocolate ice cream that you had earlier. I'm going to shove that right up your ass. Okay? I'm going to shove it right up your ass. You want to keep it on your mouth? How would you like it up your ass, you idiot? <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. No, but seriously, I want to see all the swords and shields in the chat. I want to. I want to get bullish. Okay? I want to get so, so bullish right now. I, 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 I want to really, really just get bullish. Okay, I do. I do. I, I am sick of being bearish. But we got to get back above the 20, or sorry, the 50-day EMA. 
please we got to get back above it right now that's at 23,138 so I need everyone everyone in the chat to spam every sword and shield that you had in the chat right now okay we need to do this we need to team up and get together okay if you can't find the swords and shields in the chat I need you to just type swords in the chat type the word swords okay hit up the like button all right let's get it man <laughs> it's not realistic no <laughs> we're, we're, we're having some fun we're having some fun we're having some fun man right now we're we're about give or take you know two hundred dollars uh from the 50-day ema so that's where we want to get back above all right that's where we want to get back above we're gonna watch the short-term pattern here all right you said it's likely bitcoin comes back up and takes this wick all right so i do i, I would not be surprised if bitcoin came back up moseyed its way back up to this uh take this wick back up here at 23k and th then we decide what we want to do from there okay ultimately i do think it comes back down if i had to put my money on it i do think it comes back down to the downside but that's what i want to do teju coming in hot with the swords and shields i love it buddy i love it man i love it so we got one minute to the close uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a dicey one it's gonna be a dicey one here let's see what we got let's see what we got here <laughs> everything i had said teju <laughs> i love it man i love how the chat's going nuts right now I love it. Here we go. 22,956. We're sitting right at the neckline right now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're sitting right at the neckline right now. Here we go, man. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. Close back above it, man. Give me a five-minute close up there. Just do it for me. Give me a little upwards price action. Come on. <laughs> What's going on, Truth? He said, let's go. I love it. I love it. Come on. Get... Give me a little pumpage. There it is. It's <laughs> it's teetering right on that previous close, man. And it closes right at it. All right, let's see what we do on the open here. 22,956. Come on, BTC. Come on, BTC. <laughs> Poke your head up there. Poke it up. Poke it up, boy. Poke it up, boy. Jordan, stop getting so uh, cocky, man. Like... This is going back down. I, you guys are all getting pumped over this. Bitcoin's still going back down to 10K. Like, they, they, they don't call me the bottom dweller for anything. All the short-term price action is so funny watching these bulls get so pumped. I'm just sitting with all my cash on the sidelines and all my tether on the sidelines uh, while everyone else is holding their bags. <laughs> and I'm going to buy up all your crypto when you panic sell it at 10K. It's hilarious. <laughs> all you guys are getting so pumped over this pump right now. It doesn't mean shit. It doesn't mean shit. <laughs> all right here we go here we go uh 23k here we go we're coming back up to take that wick looks like we're breaking a little bit of a cup and handle pattern to the upside here we go we got the tokyo open said cryptos aren't us i love it links for the shout out man <laughs> daniel said daniel coming with the crab dan's always coming with the crab let's see what we got going on here <laughs> facts bottom dweller <laughs> all right let's see I'm going to continue up any higher. Is this the end of the move? Let's see, man. Sitting up, <laughs> sitting tether on the sidelines. <laughs> Mike, Mike is probably doing the same thing, to be honest. You guys are idiots. Do you see all the earnings of all these companies? They missed every company missed on their earnings. Literally every single one. You guys think a 75 basis point rate hike is, bill is bullish? Last month, we had a 75 basis point rate hike, and you thought it was the most bearish thing ever. Now it's bullish? You guys are a bunch of idiots. We're in a recession. Okay? People are poor. No one has any money. Not one company has bought Bitcoin in the past three months. You really think we're going to the upside right now? A bunch of idiots, man. A bunch of freaking idiots. There is no volume on Bitcoin right now. Get it out of your freaking head. God, a bunch of moon boys in the chat. My balls are bigger than your freaking head, you freaking moon boy. Christ. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Uh, you said ETC is running. Let's go check ETC. ETC. Looks like Phantom, uh, Phantom's trying to come up too. Let's go check ETC. There's probably some altcoins that are trying to come up right now. Uh, Ethereum Classic. Oh, yeah. Look at ETH Classic, man. Getting a nice pump to the upside. Let's get the pump saw going for Ethereum Classic. Let's get it, man. Come on.
All right, uh, 32. Eve Classic getting a nice move up. What a move, man. Back above the 200 uh, moving average. Not too shabby, man. I, I just want to make it clear that ETH Classic is making vector candle after vector candle after vector candle to the downside. Right? Spanning all the way back down to $15. All the way back down to $817. All the way back down to $19. At some point, they're going to come back down. I will, say, I will say it. At some point, they're going to come back down. But right now, let's ignore that fact and, and look at what we got in the charts. All right? What do we got? Because we're back above all moving averages. We're just kind of going back to the upside. Right? What do we got right now on the close? Let's look at it for what it is. We got higher highs in price action. We got lower highs on the RSI. For all my members out there, when we did that divergence, okay, bullish and bearish divergence uh, stream, I told you guys I'm gonna be taking daily divergences very, very seriously going forward, okay? And right now, you got the classic one. The higher highs, the lower highs coming in, right? Now, let's actually look at and see if it, it, it levels up with a Fib, Fibonacci. Let's take the swing high to the swing low. You can see right now we close right at that 0.5 fit, right? So if we look up, do we have any vectors to come back up and take? Let's see. I'm not seeing any. All the way back up to 50 bucks. I'm not seeing one. Anywhere on this move to the downside here, looking left, at least on this current price action. So is this going to be the top of this move for ETC? Let's find out. But you, you got to give that a little bit of... A little bit of precedence, okay? Just a little bit of precedence. Take that in mind. This could change. Like if, e if ETC gets one ma massive, one more massive pump to the upside, that's gonna that's gonna get rid of this bearish div, okay? So it's gonna depend on what happens tomorrow. If we get a red candle tomorrow, I'm gonna get I'm gonna put some weight on this. All right, I'm gonna put some weight on this. I'm looking for a pullback here. Um, let's go back to BTC. BTC right now still trying to make its way to the upside. Looks like we got initial rejection off the cup and handle though. It spiked up, it spiked up, spiked up twice, and then pulled back. That's why it's important to wait for a close on any type of pattern, all right? Spike up, spike up, rejection, coming back down to the downside, all right? You come back up, took a little of this wick. Is that enough? Are they still going to bring it back to the upside more to take more of this wick? That's the question. Uh, but right now, they are pulling it back on uh, on ETC. Uh, Ethereum, still chilling at the highs, man. So nothing really changes for Ethereum. You got to break this these previous highs, right? Six sixteen thirty nine was the previous daily close high. Uh, let me see. Let me see in the chat. BTC has major bearish divergence on the one day as well from the last dump. Yeah. Let's see. ETH bearish div on the daily too. Let me look. Let's go to daily on ETH. Um, let me bring up my little RSI on Ethereum. See what we got here. Yeah, ETH has got some bearish div too. So you're seeing it on every single coin for the most part, man. We've seen it on like four different ones so far. All right? You got the lower highs. You got the higher highs coming in. Take it for what you will. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just the messenger. I don't tell you what. Yeah, I don't tell you. I'm not making up shit. What happened up here uh, in April when we saw that ex this exact same price action that we're comparing to now? What happened back in April? You had higher highs, you had lower highs on the price on the RSI. What happened after that? That resulted in the move back down to the downside. So classic bearish divergence there on the daily. You're seeing the exact same thing happen now, All right? Doesn't mean it has to play out that way, but um, you are seeing that same exact price action. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind there. Um, all right. So back to BTC. Twenty thousand nine fifty. Still see. Still want to see a break above twenty two twenty two thousand nine. 55 all right um recession news tomorrow we're gonna dump uh yeah i mean I, I saw the emergency meeting tomorrow um i forget who it was with was it was it with jeanette yellen was it yellen that's coming out with the emergency meeting let me know in the chat i i i saw that earlier too that could put a little wrinkle in things as well <laughs> there's always seems to be some type of news that could put a, put a wrinkle in things i feel like all right here we go here we go here we go bitcoin's making its way back up twenty two thousand nine eighty four. What can we see here, guys? What can we see? Strap up. We're going to the moon. Here we go, 23K. Let's see what we do here. We're going to break these previous high. Previous highs back up here at uh, 23,112 on the Binance chart. Are we just going to come back up and take this wick? Let me move this out of the way. Let's see what we do here. Let's see what we do. We're trying to move up to the upside. All right, they came back up and took the wick. What are they going to do now? Are they going to pull it back now or are they going to try to break the highs? Let's see. 
Let's see. They took enough of the wick. They don't have to come up any higher if they don't want to. Let's see. <laughs> but last meeting, yeah, yelling. Yelling the ang yelling the granny felon. Hint, watch her print more. That's what we hope for. Let's see what we got. 23K right now, BTC. Here we go. Pump music. I, I, I got to go back to the old times, man. I'm not going to play the pump music until we break the previous high. That was the old rule back in the days. That's going to be the new rule now. Unless we break some type of pattern, okay, or we break the previous highs, no pump music. We got to keep it realistic, okay, my friends? We got to keep it somewhat realistic here. Um, let's see. <laughs> Wait, Clint got a Whopper with cheese and double cheeseburger and a side of onion rings from Burger King? Clint, is that what you got, my friend? You know what I got today waiting for me? We haven't talked about it yet because I didn't want to salivate. Now I am. You know what I got in the fridge. Try to guess what I have in the fridge, guys. What do I have in the fridge? It's takeout. What do I have in the fridge for tonight? What do I have? Let me know in the chat. I am so excited for it. You, you try to guess what I have. Uh, Kareem said, new subscriber from Dubai, 4 a.m. in the morning. Appreciate you, man. You, you got you to be enjoying what you're watching if you want watching at 4 a.m. Um, or you're going to be enjoying the uh, Bitcoin price action, one of the two. Thanks for subscribing. For anyone that's new to the stream, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. We are live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day, and we have a lot of fun in the stream, man. We have a lot of fun in the stream. My main goal of the stream is to is to have fun. It, my, my, really, my main goal is to have fun and uh, really enjoy the ride and just try to navigate crypto the best way we can. That's it. But we'll also have fun doing it. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. That's what we do here. We, we, we have a lot of dumb jokes. We fart a lot, right? Uh, we, 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 we make fun of horse guys, you know, people who FOMO. Whoa, look at the Bitcoin pumping the 23K. I'm going all in right now. <laughs> we make fun of trolls. You're a friggin' idiot. You, you just FOMO'd at 23K? You had months, months to accumulate lower. And you just FOMO'd at 23K? What an idiot. That's what we do here, right? Shout out, shout out to everyone that's in the chat, though. Let's see. Sometimes fun. Sometimes fun. Sometimes we got to be serious. Sometimes we got we to be a little bit serious sometimes, all right? Because you guys know I'm super, super serious. You guys know me. Super, super serious, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Knuckle sandwich? Facts. Uh, no, no, not chocolate ice cream. Kelly's roast beef? Oh, my God. Hood rich. You reminded me of Kelly's roast beef. Oh my God, I love Kelly's roast beef. Oh, the sauce. The sauce is real, is unbelievable, but man, I'm a huge sauce guy. Kelly's roast beef? And no, I'm not talking about what you think I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> okay? It's, it's a restaurant. Why you guys don't have Kelly's roast beef? It's really freaking good. And the sauce on Kelly's roast beef. <laughs> the sauce on Kelly's roast beef. Sounds so wrong. The sauce on Kelly's roast beef is delicious, man. Um, I will say. I will say. Enchiladas. Let me see. Chipotle. Creighton got it. Chipotle. You know I got Chipotle, my friend. You know I got Chipotle. <laughs> Kelly's roast beef looks fire. Oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is fire, man. It is fire. Uh, <laughs> Kelly's chocolate. <laughs> I would eat an entire curtain. <laughs> All right. All right, get out of here. All right, here we go. Ethereum Classic still playing out. Um, you're probably going to see this on a lot of different alts, guys. I mean, Actually, Matic doesn't have bearish div. Of course, Matic doesn't have bearish div. Matic's always freaking bullish, man. East dumping. Yeah, ETH, ETH is as bearish div. It's, it's trying to dump. It's trying to take a little dump right now. You know, nothing crazy. You still at resistance. All right, Bitcoin's trying to come back down now. Let's see. If it breaks the 20 EMA, we're looking for a move back down to the 50. Okay, uh, it's the five-minute time frame. Let's watch. Let's watch and see. Is it going to break it? Let's find out in the short-term price action here. Dab on stream. Bah! 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 There you go. Shout out to everyone who wants to dab in the chat. Shout out to everyone in the chat here. 
What's we got? What do we got going on right now? Jeb is smart, nice guy, but he's kind of young. Oh yeah, Jeb, Jeb. Jeb is a nice guy. I like Jeb. I like Jeb. I like Jeb, man. I got. I got. I got no problems with Jeb. Okay. I got no problems with Jeb. I don't really have a problem with anyone. I, 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 I troll. Okay, I troll. You guys know me. I troll. If anyone wants to troll me, that's fine. Okay. The problem with me is you can't you can't troll a troll. You know what I mean? People try to troll me. I've seen it. People try to troll me, but you can't troll the troll. It's impossible. Okay. Because because a, a troll a true troll does not get offended when other people try to troll. Him. Why? Because he has a sense of humor. People who try. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop it. Um, I don't really have a problem with anyone in this space, though. Right? Obviously, I don't agree with what everyone does. Okay? I don't agree with what everyone does. But who, who does? Um, but, you know, that's not my place, I guess. People can be, It's a free country. People can do whatever they want to do. All right? It's a free world, somewhat. People can do what they ever want to do. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Um... A, a, a problem with Michael Saylor? No, I have no problem with Michael Saylor. Oh, Rant Alert? Rant Alert. <sighs> Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Um, all right, so now, now we're waiting again. <laughs> now, now we're kind of waiting right now. Looks like nothing really is good. Nothing's really going up. Everything looks like it's pulling back for the most part. Bitcoin's getting a slight pullback at the moment. Looks like alts are down about 1%. Some are down like 2% or so. So you've seen a decent pullback here. Excuse me, man. DXY. Here's what I'll say about the DXY, man. Today it did break support. Or actually, it, it closed right at support. You guys can see right here, right? We're watching this kind of short-term support since May. where It's back-tested this a few times. We're looking for this to hold. Look for it close today. It closed right on top of this support. So tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. Are we going to see the midweek reversal? Where, you know we, know, we know assets in general have been pretty much pumping. Okay, for the most part. Okay, I mean, it, it, not, I mean, quote unquote pumping. Uh, it, 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 it. Here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say about this. Um, if you look at where we closed on BTC, you know, this week we've been slightly up, right? You can see it on the weekly candle, uh, right here. Right, we, we've been, we've been, we pulled back, but we went slightly up here. Are we gonna see Thursday? We start to come back down. We get the DXY right at support, right? And we also have, um. The SP uh, SPX, which also looks like it just closed at these this this uh, daily. Uh, you see this gap here on the daily time frame. The S and P came back up and finally closed the rest of this gap. So is this going to be the, the move where it gets rejected off this trend line coming up and starts to come back down to fill this lower gap? Okay, we're still waiting on that. It could take a little while to play out. We could just kind of bounce around up here for a little bit, but uh, still looking for it to come back down at some point. Um, uh, right now Bitcoin's chilling, 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 chilling. So it's going to be, it's going to be, tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. Are we going to see continuation or is this the top of the move? Tomorrow's going to tell us a lot. I do believe. I do believe. Uh, Nuts Flush said we greedy as F right now. Oh, everyone's greedy, man. I can see in the chat. Everyone's greedy. Um, Waterfly said I'm going away for a week, boss, starting Saturday. Don't wonder if I'm dead. Oh, Waterfly. Take some time off, man. You're here every single day. If you need a time off from anything, charts, anything, right? My stream, take the damn time off, okay? Crypto's not life, okay? Crypto can make your life, but crypto's not life, all right? So keep that in mind. Waterfly, have a fantastic vacation, my friend. Fantastic vacation. I have a vacation coming up relatively soon. Um, actually, in two weeks, I probably won't be streaming for... Actually, maybe I'll probably end up streaming that weekend, but I'm going to be gone on a Monday and a Tuesday uh, for someone's birthday. Uh, I got to drive back up to Boston for that or back up to Massachusetts for that. Uh, and then at the end of August, beginning of September, I'll be gone for a week um, to go to Poland. So we, we, we got we got some shit coming up, too. We got some shit coming up, too. So. Uh, but you guys got me for at least another uh, at least another month here before before we go on vacation, you know. <laughs> another Jordan vacation. <laughs> I actually don't go. I feel like I don't actually don't go on that many vacations. I feel like I don't. I take a few days off, but as far as like actual vacations where I'm going somewhere far, I don't, I don't go on too many vacations. Let's see. 
Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, man. <laughs> Better grab some Kellys while you're up there. Oh, I'll be grabbing some Kellys roast beef, man. You know why? Because I want that saucy, saucy, saucy Kellys roast beef. I want to stick my face in that roast beef just like this. When Bob, oh, when Bob gets Kelly's roast beef, oh my lord, this is what he does. Mom, can we go to Kelly's? Can we go to Kelly's? Yeah, can, can you pull up? Can you pull up? Can, you, can we go to Kelly's? No, Mom, I don't want Kelly's. I want Chinese. I don't want. I don't want to get Kelly's. Mom, no, no, no. Why are we going to Kelly's? Haha, <laughs> Java, we're going to Kelly's. You're not getting your Chinese food today. Mom, can I get four roast beef sandwiches? Yeah, extra sauce, extra sauce. Thank you. Oh, yes, here, here they are. Mm. Here they are. It's so saucy. Mm. Kelly's roast beef is so good, it's so juicy. I, I want to see, I, I want to make a, you know what would be funny? Like a, like a, like a family guy type of show with Jabba, horse guy, Bob. Like a family guy type show with horse guy, Jabba, Bob, Karen, Mike. They, 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 that would be the best. Would you, would you guys watch that? Let me know in the chat. Would you guys watch like a 15 minute episode of... A, a, like a family guy type thing with, with all them. That would be, be funny, man. I would love that. I would love that shit. Um, anyways. <laughs> That's some big roast beef. Um, all right, let's see what we got. Everything else is kind of chilling right now. Um, Soul. All the ones that broke out looks like they're coming back down to back test. So we know Soul broke out, broke out. Uh, looks like it could just come back down and back test the 50 EMA in this downtrend of resistance. Okay. We want to see, is it hold this and continue back up? You'll see this from a lot of different ones. Uh, dot, we know broke out. Same thing. If dot, dot's actually continuing up here. So dot's looking bullish. Um, we are getting a four hour, uh, blue vector coming in, which means we got a little stopping volume coming in, but dot is trying to continue up. So let's get a pump song going for dot. Let's go, man. Um, no, but a nice move up for Dot. That's really, really nice. Now, how much higher can we expect this to go with, with the rest of the market kind of chilling? Um, let's see. Let's do a little Fibonacci. Looks like we are breaking that 786 retracement. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby whatsoever for little, little Dottie here. But, um, you know, watch for this. The four-hour stocks are getting topped out. We got vector candles below. You know, it depends on what Bitcoin does, obviously, but Dot... I could see it coming back down to retrace, back test, and then continue, and then try to continue back to the upside. But a retrace at some point looks looks in the, like in the cards for dot. Um, and you'll, you'll probably see this from a lot of different ones, like shib. Shib broke out. Looks like it's coming back down to retrace. Um, Uniswap, which I guess is just <laughs> we're just always bullish. Uniswap. I mean, we know a lot of these hit has uh, has daily bearish diversions. So they said short term. Short term, short term, right? You, you could see a little move to the upside on like the five minute, the 15 minute. But looks like they did their damage, man. Like if, if the market makers now want to bring this back down to the downside, they easily can. Why? Because we had this wick to the upside. They wicked it up. Where's my other path tool? Here we go. Oh my God. I'm sometimes I struggle. I can never find the path. They wicked it up. They brought it back down. They brought it back up again, took the wick, just like we want to see, man. They took the wick. Are they going to bring it back down now to the downside? That's exactly what we don't want to see, and that's a textbook. Textbook, textbook, textbook pattern. Okay, M formation. Now, if it does want to continue back down, which is not confirmed yet, 
Now, what we wait for, for any type of Bart Simpson or M formation, is we wait for the break of the lows, which aren't that far from here. That's 22,578, all right? If we break there, we're looking for down towards 22K retest uh, for the short term. So let's see what they do, all right? Uh, let's see what they do. Um, that looks like it's gonna dump. Well, <laughs> we'll find out, right? Well, obviously we'll find out. I think there's a good chance that we do. Um, Cause like we said, guys, it's not that we're just painting an M formation. It's we're painting an M formation at resistance. Look where Bitcoin is on this, right? Look where it is. It's sitting right at that daily resistance level. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. It did exactly what it did right here. Is you make a high, you retrace back down, you get a massive pump, everyone gets bullish again, you retest the, uh, the resistance again, and that's it, All right? Not only that, but we're also chilling right at the 50 EMA. Where is, where is it? Chilling right at the 50 EMA, we just came back up to again, and we're seeing a rejection off that. So, I mean, it's not just that, but we are at a major point in the charts for many different reasons. So, this could be the point where this move tops out. I don't want it to. I would love to continue to pump up from here, but this could be the move where we start to top out and we come back down, all right? Uh, let's see. The Eye of Sorin pattern playing out. The Eye of, the eye of Sorin. Uh, let me itch my head. Let me itch my head. Let's see. Mr. Knott said, my wife who knows nothing about crypto like zero and even less than zero about trading have two thousand dollars worth of uni that I bought for her at three fifty. I hate my life. <laughs> Why do you hate your life? <laughs> she made she made money, man. She made money, which is your wife. That means you made money. Okay, I mean, I don't know about that. Not not always, uh, but that means you made money too. So congratulations, man. That means that your wife's two thousand dollars is now worth about you know what close to five thousand dollars now. Congratulations, man. <laughs> nice, dude. That's bullish. That's bullish. Basically, Bitcoin is clearly a Don't scam. be this guy. Cryptocurrency is clearly an idiot with no common sense. And scientifically speaking, according to a study at the Bank of Canada, more people who are fina financially illiterate invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> Mike, you're spitting facts. Bullish Jordan slowly morphing into the realist Jordan. <laughs> That's so true. I have two forms. I have Moon Boy Jordan and I have realist Jordan. That's so true. That's so true. We're not at Moon Boy Jordan yet, okay? There's gonna be a day where I turn into Moon Boy Jordan again. I'll be like a Moon Boy realist, okay? I'll be pumped for the pumps, but I'll look at, I'll look at everything with a skeptical eye, you know? Bank of Canada guy, you gotta love the Bank of Canada guy. Um, take a shower, you orderly hat head guy. <laughs> That's funny. 100x short is in. 100x short. I never would do it 100x. Who do you, any of you guys actually trade with 100x leverage? 100x leverage is nuts, man. You, you literally get like a point. What is it? In theory, if you get a, if it moves like even slightly, you get liquidated instantly. <laughs> People who short 100x are freaking nuts, man. You gotta be 100% certain something's gonna move anyway, and no is 100% certain. Like if you 100x shorted right now, 22,840, and it went to like 22,850, you get you're gonna get liquidated. 75x, 4x max. JW, you're crazy. Even 75x, you're freaking crazy, man. 20x. Did it once? Got liquidated in three seconds. <laughs> That's usually what happens, man. Because because. The, the market makers see those giant liquidations on the charts, like 100x liquidations, and they're instantly going to come take you out. It's easy money for them. 100x with only market cipher B confirming. Let's see. I do 40x. That's not as crazy. That's definitely not as crazy. How many peeps we got in here right now? All right, all right. Still got 1,100 peeps in here. I like it. I like it. I like where we're going today. Everyone's bullish. Nothing has changed. Absolutely nothing has changed, man. <laughs> nothing has changed. It's 1% against you? Okay, 
which could happen like almost instantly. Um, Drew said I trade with 50x. Drew, you got to be having some type stops, my man. I did 100x today during FOMC to ride the trend. Nice, dude. A little bit risky, but nice. I just sold. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> Someone said, Art Vandalay said, tech dev sucks. Listen, I I'm, I'm not going to talk shit, okay? I'm not going to talk shit. Now, would I look at Twitter and, you know, be like, holy shit, I'm going to put all my life savings on what tech dev says? Absolutely not. Um, but <laughs> I'm not going to talk shit, okay? I'm not. You know? His fractals are legit, though. They've, they've been playing out. We're, we're, we're due for that five wave. <laughs> oh, man. But what I will do is I won't talk shit, but we'll have our good friend come up. Let's have Tech Dev come on the chat. Tech Dev, come on, man. What's going on, guys? It's Tech Dev. You want to see my new fractal in the charts? Let's go see my new fractal. All right, so let's go look at the weekly chart for for, uh, for Bitcoin right now. All right, the weekly chart for Bitcoin, guys. This is just the the the, the a third wave, right? If we look at our, our Elliott wave theory right here, first of all, we got this trend line coming down like this for for BTC, just like this. Look at this trend line, okay? Coming from here up, right here. Look at this. This is uber bullish. This, this is just cutting through random price action, but this is freaking bullish, man. This means that we're going to go back to the upside. And if you look at what we also did is we had a one wave, two wave, three wave. We're waiting for that fourth wave to take us back up to 200K. How bullish is this, right? I took this off from absolutely no meaning whatsoever. A completely random fractal in the chart that shows us we're going to bounce from this current level to 200K in the span in uh, 2023. Okay? So, take it for what it is. Take it for what it is. We are bullish. <laughs> it isn't talk, so it's, it's, I guess it's hard. Uh, but you guys get the point. You guys get the point. Let, let me get back over this. Tech Dev doesn't, doesn't talk, but, you know, I, I guess it would be better to tweet something, you know? Uh... <laughs> That's not tech tip. <laughs> Buy bit Carl. I don't talk shit. Bob does, not me. And I'm here to bring you this, bring you this cryptocurrency video. video. Bitcoin, Bitcoin has fallen out from this falling wedge, and I have made a hundred X on my long position over here on Bybit. You guys should go use my Bybit link. Links down in the description. <laughs> this is cutting Bybit through Bybit 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 you like Bybit. <laughs> the gaze. The gaze is the best. Um, <laughs> uh, shit, man. Shit, shit, shit. You guys ever... Uh, the, the funniest TA that I see... Uh, I, I gotta say. The funniest TA, TA I see... And this is why I, I love to watch George's channel sometimes. Is when he, when he brings up those tech dev fractals. It's hilarious, man. Like, you, you, you'll, you'll watch some of these and you'll look at the weekly chart and it'll, someone will draw a trend line like this. Like this, where it just cuts through so much price action and they'll go, look, back test, it's bullish. We're going to the upside. And you look at it and you're like, bro, look at how much price action that's cuts through. And, and they'll, they'll, they'll go back down here and they'll go like, they'll, they'll say this, they'll say this. And they'll cut through price action like this. And they'll say, look, it happened last time. It's bullish. <laughs> and I'm like, dude. Like, like, come on, man. Like, and listen, I, I, I used to do that stuff too. Back when I was a moon boy. You know, we all make our mistakes. And we're all moon boys at some point. But holy moly, man. Holy moly, man. Uh... <laughs> Let's see. I, I used to be that guy too. I, I'm, I'm not going to say I wasn't that guy. I think we've all been that guy before. Where we look at those charts and we go, oh my God, we are bullish. And we like, we look at it and like, and we like actually believe what they're saying. Like, holy moly, man, they're bullish. I've been that guy. I, that, that was probably me about, 
Probably early last year, that was probably me. <laughs> to be fair. Have you seen Optical uh, Optical Alert? Yeah, opt Optical Alert. He, uh, you, you know, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the FIP circles. But lately, lately, he's, uh, opt Optical Alert has been pretty, uh, pretty accurate, man. I, I do gotta give him some credit here. You know what I mean? You'll always be my moon boy. Hey, I'll, I'll always be a moon boy, Warwick. Shout out to my Warwick, man. Shout out to Warwick. Guys, did you just say I hit uh, 69K subs? Let's see. You gotta love 69K. It's always a good time when you hit 69K. Next stop, 70. Okay? When will we, will we hit 70? Oh, you guys know how that usually goes. 70K is next. All right? Smack out that subscribe button. We will hit 70K in... Uh, I'm going to say we're, we're going to hit 70, 70K in August. We're going to do it, man. Your best bet. Your best bet. 69,420. That'll be today when we hit 69,420. Let me tell you. Let me freaking tell you, man. Let me tell you. All right, guys. I, I think we we talked about most things. I don't really think anything else is really pumping right now. Uh, everything else looks like it's kind of just settling up. Um, getting ready for the next. Warwick said, uh, "I love your streams." Warwick, I love you for watching my streams, man. Thank, thanks for hanging out every single day, and uh, just being you. Just being you. Th think about all we've been through on this channel. We've been through a lot of shit, right? I, I, I would even argue that the last... I, I, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna actually gonna make the, this argument here. And I, I think this is valid. The last two years in crypto has been a shit show, man. Think about what we've gone through in the last two years. If you've been through this channel since day one, okay? In the last two years, we've been through a shit show. We've pumped... Okay, we've had crazy days. Okay, we had a summertime of wreckness after we thought we were going 100k. We were moon boys. We dumped back down to the downside. Everyone was bearish. We thought we were going to a full blown bull market. It was a fake bull, full a fake bear market. We get another move to the upside. We think we're going to 100k again. We get a slightly higher high. Everyone's euphoric again, just to go into a full blown bear market. We've been through some shit, man. <laughs> We have been through more shit, in my opinion, than every... The last two years has been the most crazy two years in crypto. Why? Because it just hasn't played out like it typically has, okay? You've gotten to move up, not as high as everyone thinks. You've gotten to move down, not as low as everyone thinks. You've gotten to move up, not as high as everyone thinks. You've gotten to move down lower than everyone thinks, okay? It's been a shit show. And if you've been around for the last two years, you're going to make it on the next run up to the ups, upside, man, because... We've gone through everything. We've gone through every single thing you can think of at this point. And it's been a freaking ride, man. And it's going to be more. It, it, tell me, let me tell you. There's going to be more shit show. There's going to be more up. Right? I say there's going to be more up. There's going to be more down. There's going to be more up. Right? <laughs> there's going to be more down. There's going to be more up. It's going to be a shit show. And we're going to be here for it, though. Why? Because everyone who's stuck by this long is, is going is to make it, man. Right? Because I know everyone who's here knows what accumulating down here is going to do for you in the long run. Wherever we go in the next two years, just make sure you're ready for the halving event because the halving event has been the ticket, man. Whatever you do in the next two years, it's actually a, about almost closer to a year and a half now. Whatever you do for the next year and a half, make sure you are, are accumulating in this freaking range. Not financial advice. You do what you want to do, but you know what I'm talking about. Anywhere below the 200 SMA is an absolute steal. Whether you wait for 20, whether you wait for 10K, whether you wait for 14K, whether you wait for freaking lower, make sure you're just accumulating as much crypto as you can during this time. Because I want everyone to be here during that time, during this time, man. Everything we talk about every day is completely meaningless if you're not here in two years. Okay? Completely meaningless. So let's freaking get it. Let's continue to keep our eye on the prize. And we will make it until then. All right? We could see we could see some up the woos and doop de doos until then. We could see completely lower prices until then. We could see higher prices until then. I don't know. But we're gonna be here every day and talking about it, man. Alright? So I'm gonna leave it on that. Uh, make sure you guys have a fantastic night. I'm gonna go eat my chipotle. My chipurtle. I call it chipurtle. It's kinda weird. I call it chipurtle. Alright? Uh, I'll catch I'll catch you guys uh, tomorrow. I'll see the members at 9.45 a.m. We'll see what the stock market looks like on the open. And I'll see the rest of you guys at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for hanging out tonight, guys. Um, see what Bitcoin does tonight, right? Ultimately, 
at the end of the day, once again, we got to get a daily close above the 50 EMA. We got to get a daily close above this downtrend of resistance. Until we do that, I remain bearish. If we don't do that, you might be seeing Moonboy Jordan, realistic Moonboy Jordan, coming out to play. All right? Catch you guys tomorrow. Don't do things I wouldn't do. Don't panic sell your crypto. Most of all, don't panic sell your crypto. But make sure you take profits on the bear market pumps. Right? Adios, guys. Peace out.